Welcome back to the Jack Sparrow channel. I am Jack and today I wanted to talk about this Nicki Minaj thing and tell you what I really think. And uh, I am really torn about what I think, but really, and this is probably going to ruffle feathers and I don't really care. I still think she's hot garbage, still. Oh, you know, I find it interesting that people flock, people of a conservative nature flock to these celebrities that all of a sudden seem to espouse like, oh, I'm very liberty minded and I believe that people should have the choice to do this, choice to do that. And it's like, well, that sounds good. Yes. Okay. Um, you know, aside from the not family friendly, you know, F-bombs every other word she uses in her um, posts and videos and everything else like that. Hard to take anybody seriously when they, they're, they basically speak in profanity constantly. I myself fall prey to that, believe it or not, from time to time. Yes, the old Marine Corps spirit kind of is hard to drive out sometimes, but I do what I must. I try my best. Anyway, back to Nikki. It's not about me. This is about Nikki and about other celebrities. People remember when Kanye West all of a sudden, like, he supported the tr big T man? Had the MAGA hat and everything. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Uh, so yes, uh, world is but a stage. Yeah, and then he just didn't, you know, then he didn't, well, I'm not going to vote for him and blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm a Christian now. And yes, I still make music that, that's satanic, but I'm a Christian. I'm such a Christian that I'm going to do a music vi uh, video or performance with Marilyn Manson. Yes, that's how Christian I am. I'll do music videos with a man who hates Christians and God. So when Nicki Minaj is all of a sudden like the beacon of hope and liberty, I, uh, I point back to Kanye and I said, yeah, everybody said that about that guy too. These celebrities are opportunistic. These celebrities are just they're filth. Maybe they're 15 minutes of fame. Um, pop stars have a very short lifespan uh, in the public eye uh, because, you know, once you reach 30 or so, oh, you're old, you're feeling you know, saggy, and you're just getting a little old. Maybe, maybe you had a kid or something like that, and you're just a little bit, you know, your hips are spread out. I don't know. Maybe you're just not good looking enough for them. I do this with all of them, you know? But, you know, uh, so she has, okay, she has this idea. You look at the body of her work and you can see that she's not, she doesn't represent good old fashioned American values. She's not family friendly. Yeah, she has a lot of music videos, performances, and, uh, you know, her wardrobe that is just rife, rife, rife with, uh, not rife, rife with, uh, you know, Illuminati and satanic symbols and stuff. So where is our heart really at? Bread and circus, friends. Bread and circus. Anytime one of these celebrities act like they're on your side, they're not on your side. Are you kidding me? They like that sweet, sweet paycheck. Any way they can get it. Any way they can get that 15 minutes of dopamine fame and fortune and accolades and people saying, oh, you're so great. I myself kind of got caught up at the very beginning of this thing, and I, you know, I believe I might have liked or tweeted a couple things. But in a couple days of thinking and percolating on the situation, I have come to determine for myself that 
I should have stayed out of it to begin with, and and you know not uh, not jumped on the train like every other moron. Bad. Don't do it again. I'll try not to. Anyway, like I said, I'm sure people will be a little put out that I'm not jumping on a Nicki Minaj bandwagon. But guess what? If you want me to, uh, you know, be a people pleaser and just say things to make you happy, then go somewhere else. Shoo. I don't do that here. I have opinions. And if you don't like my opinions, I don't really care. You can have your opinions. You go, you go make your videos and cry about it. Shoot. <laughs> anyway, that's all I had to say about it. What do you think? Do you think she's legit, sincere? Do you think she's the beacon of hope and liberty that we've been looking for? Nicki Minaj for president. Because you know what Minaj means, right? Minaj toi, right? Yeah, she's uh, super family friendly. I think we should nominate her for the Republican ticket for 2024. Hogwash. <laughs> Stupid. All right, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm going to go hop into this friggin' this wheel known as the rat weight. Wow. I'm cut off. It's 7 a.m. in the morning and I can't talk. No rum for me today, I guess. Anyway, y'all have a great, fantastic day. We'll talk to you again real soon.